the next topic. And our next topic is actually involves Netflix. And I'm not going to lie, this story definitely, um, I looked at it and I raised an eyebrow. I honestly thought it wasn't real. Now let's do a little bit of history. Um, cause I, I have to admit this actually challenges a belief of mine. I like the director span, Stan, no, sorry, Spike Lee. I, I, it's almost a Stanley. It's Spike Lee. I love Spike Lee movies. I don't like all of them, though. And one of the movies that I do not like is Bamboozled. And I don't like Bamboozled because I felt it was, frankly, a disingenuous movie. The whole concept of Bamboozled is that creators make a show with blackface. That becomes a huge hit. And they... Um, as they say, they, they put on blackface, even the white actors, even the black actors, and it becomes a huge hit, and how everyone's just willing to accept it. And I remember not li liking that movie because I felt this is wrong, because blackface is in the past. No one genuinely finds it funny any anymore. You know, I, I still remember when Ted Cruz went to the Emmys or the Golden Globes or something like that, and he was wearing blackface, and he was dating Whoopi Goldberg at the time, and the audience was like, <gasps> and they reacted the way you were supposed to act when you see blackface. Like, basically, nobody, n nobody tolerates it anymore. And that's the opinion I had for a long time. I also, you know, was looking at interviews and stuff with Spike Lee, and he was talking about how he didn't like how MTV made black people look like thugs and pimps and everything like that. And I felt he should have made a movie that on what he was really upset about. But then I read this article. Netflix removes four British comedies over blackface. And it says, Netflix has gone on a spree of removing British comedies that feature white actors in blackface from its service. On Wednesday, the Mighty Boosh, the eccentric mid, uh, mid aughts created co comedy created by Julian Barrett and Noel Finding, uh, currently a host of a Great British Shake Off, was the latest series to be taken off the streamer in its entirety, according to the, uh, the Guardian. The removal arrived the same day Netflix took down the comedy The League of Gentlemen, and one day after took down Little Britain and Come Fly With Me. Now then, the article goes on to explain you know, the offensive scenes, we don't need to do that. But I read this article and I kind of said to myself, you know, these have to be old shows or old movies. Clearly, there's not a modern day audience that's that's putting blackface out there. Is there? That, that, that'd be stupid. Well, let's look at The League of Gentlemen. Okay, this movie is 1960... I think blackface was mildly tolerated at that point, so okay, that's old, um, you know, that's history, I don't know, you know, it's not okay, but it, it's old, at the very least. What about the other show, shows? The Mighty Boosh. Um, this show, what, what year did this show come out? 2004. This was a 2004 to 2007 show, apparently there's blackface in this show. And that's not too long ago. Interestingly, um, this show is ranked 98th on the Guardian's list of 100 best television shows of the 21st century. Okay, so that's fairly modern. What about Little Britain? Little Britain is 2003 to 2007. Apparently there's blackface in it. And what about this one? Come Fly With Me. This is 2010. This is just a decade ago. This is 10 years ago. Um... So, that's what got me really confused about this. Now, granted, I have not seen any of these shows. I don't know what the context of the blackface even is. But it does seem pretty crazy to me that in this day and age, where it's pretty well established that blackface is not okay, and it's hateful, and it's insensitive. <laughs> insensitive is a very mild word, I should say. It's abhorrent. It's all these things, and we were still making shows with it? Well, maybe not us. These are all British shows. Maybe an American show has better taste? I don't know. But it's crazy to think that 
we live in a world where like I'm reading this article. I don't even think I'm going to talk about it because it's like, well, all the stuff that they took down was probably from way back when. And no, it's all fairly modern stuff. Like it, it does not make any sense to me whatsoever. So yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. I haven't seen it. Um, I don't know what the context of these jokes are. But I definitely understand why Netflix removed them. And really, look, I'm all for not censoring stuff in the past. Like, hey, if it's like 80 years old, okay, you know what? You don't censor it. You educate. But if you're talking about like the last 20 years, you're still doing this, then yeah, maybe those people need a stern talking to. But I'm going to leave that there. What about all of you, though? Do you agree? Do you disagree about this? I would, like, what do you think of... Netflix taking down the shows, and what do you think of the shows actually being up in the first place? I would love to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly.